How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. With the release of Beyond Light we got our first ever darkness subclass, Stasis. This subclass is unique in that it is much more customizable than our current light subclasses. In order to customize it we need aspects and fragments which allow us to buff our Stasis build. I assume if you're checking out this video you may be wondering how the heck to get aspects and fragments. You may even be wondering how you get the other grenade options for that matter. I'm here to help you with all that. Before I get into this guide, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm excited to be making Beyond Light content and I hope that you join my channel so that you can check out my future videos. Anyway, let's get into the guide. First of all, there are a couple of things that you need to do first. You need to unlock the Stasis subclass by completing the Beyond Light campaign. I also highly recommend getting the Salvation's Grip Grenade Launcher as you will need that to get your first aspect. If you don't know how to get Salvation's Grip or would just like some help getting it, I'll leave a link to my guide in the description down below. Once you're ready to begin, you'll want to head to the Stranger on Europa. She will have a quest called Born in Darkness. There will be a total of three parts to the Born in Darkness quest series, but for now we'll just focus on the first part. There are several steps here but they are all relatively straightforward. You'll need to collect Energized Aether from Fallen on Europa and get 10 Stasis Melee Final Blows. There are Fallen all over Europa so they shouldn't be too hard to find. When that's done you'll need to complete 3 strikes with your Stasis subclass equipped and throughout those strikes you'll need to defeat 60 enemies afflicted by Stasis. Make sure you're in the strike playlist for this. Next you'll need to take out Wenix Platoon. You'll see a blue marker on the Europa map over by the Braytech Exoscience Facility. Crack it and you should have a waypoint to help lead you there. When you get there you simply have to take out some fallen enemies and the boss and this part will be complete. Lastly you'll need to head to the Bunker E15 Lost Sector in the Eventide Ruins area. There will be another blue marker that you can track to help guide you there. You'll need to clear out the Lost Sector and then talk to the stranger within. When the dialogue with her is complete you'll be prompted to head back to her in her usual spot in the Beyond area on Europa. Here she will give you the Aspect of Control quest. This is the quest line you need to do to get your first aspect. She will also give you Born in Darkness Part 2 which will be needed to acquire the other two grenades for the Stasis subclass. We'll start by going over how to get the first aspect. The first part of this quest requires you to locate and destroy 5 Entropic Shards on Europa. In order to destroy them you will need Salvation's Grip. Alright, there are 9 total Entropic Shards but I will show you the location of 5 that are relatively easy to get to.
Once you have all five, you'll have a blue quest icon on the far north side of the map. Mark it and make your way there. Here you'll have to take on several waves of Fallen, but once it's done you'll have your first aspect and you'll be able to equip it right away. When that's done, head back to the stranger and she will talk about acquiring fragments. You will be able to grab two quests each week from her that will award a memory fragment and these memory fragments can be spent on fragments for the stasis subclass. She offers you a choice of strike, gambit, or crucible related quests, so choose whichever you like best. The requirements are pretty straightforward, they may take some time but they aren't hard to do. When you do end up finally completing your tasks on the quest, you'll be able to return to the stranger to purchase a fragment with your memory fragment. Remember to come back each week and acquire more of them. Let's move on to acquiring the other two grenades. You will need to complete Born in Darkness Part 2 to get the Dust Field Grenade, and you'll need to complete Part 3 to get the Cold Snap Grenade. Born in Darkness Part 2 is pretty easy. You'll first need to get 50 Energized Radiolarian Fluid by killing Vex, and you need to defeat 20 enemies using Shatter Damage. This means you'll want to be using your Stasis abilities as much as possible. After that, you need to complete any three playlist activities with your Stasis subclass equipped. In these activities, you need to defeat 60 combatants affected by Stasis as well. You can choose Strikes, Gambit, or Crucible depending on your preferences. However, I should mention that defeating Guardians with Stasis awards bonus progress here. Next, you'll have another quest icon for Born in Darkness Part 2 on the northern side of the Europa map. Track it and you should get a waypoint that leads you there. You'll have to take out another platoon of Fallen, again you should have no problem with this. When that is finished you need to meet up with a stranger in the Perdition Lost Sector in the Cadmus Ridge area on Europa. When inside, clear out the Lost Sector, then meet up with the stranger for some dialogue. When this is done, return to her camp and speak with her to obtain the Duskfield Grenade. You should also get Born in Darkness Part 3, this will award you with the final Stasis Grenade. To complete this quest, you'll need to kill some Vex and fall into acquired darkness energy. You need to take out 50 of each. You also need to defeat 20 enemies afflicted by stasis. After that, you'll need to play 3 gambit matches and get 60 stasis final blows while playing gambit. When that's done, you will once again need to take out a platoon of fallen found in the Eternity area on Europa. You get to the Eternity area via the Braytech Exoscience facility. There will be a quest marker that you can track to help guide you there. Lastly, once that's done, you will need to head to the Concealed Void Lost Sector found in the Asterian Abyss. You will need to head in and clear the Lost Sector again, and then once again speak to the Stranger. When this step is finished, head back to the Stranger at her camp and receive your final grenade. Well that's it for my guide on how to add some more options to your Stasis subclass. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.